Hello, I'm Li Jing. Today, I'll give an overview of the FairPlus and the verification framework. This is the first episode of a series Audio and Bytes, aiming to give you a practical guide to FAIR and data verification. In this video, you will first learn about the FairPlus project. You will then explore a methodology, specifically the verification framework, which was developed by the FairPlus project and is a systematic approach for putting the FAIR principles into practice. I'm sure most of you are already aware of what the FAIR principles are, but just to put everyone on the same page here. FAIR principles are a set of guidelines to make research data findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. These principles were originally introduced back in 2016 as part of the FAIR guidelines paper by Mark Wilkinson, as well as many other prominent researchers, to unify the expression of scientific works in a manner to facilitate their usefulness. Let's get a closer look at the principles now. By findable, we mean that the research data should be easy to find for both humans and machines. Of all, this is the starting point. Without being able to find the data, the rest are less relevant. By accessible, we mean that research data should be openly available whenever possible and accessible to anyone who wishes to use it. This, of course, comes with certain caveats, such as considerations related to personal data, GDPR regulations, legal and ethical aspect, and more. By interoperable, we mean the research data should be structured in a way that allows for it to be combined with other data set. This is largely achieved by using common formats and providing sufficient descriptive metadata. Finally, by reusable, we mean that the data should be usable for many different purposes and different researchers. This is challenging because it is difficult to predict how one person's work may be reused by someone else in a different context. Overall, these are principles. This is important as such they are very much aspirational and can be less practical in nature. While the broad principles are clearly split, careful examination will tell you they overlap in many ways. They can be interpreted somewhat subjectively, and also there are some key things that cross custom. There is also some slight ambiguity here in my view, for example, when we say reusable, do we mean it's repeatable, reanalyzable, or reproducible? Before discussing the verification framework, a systematic approach to implementing the FAIR principles, let me provide a brief introduction to the FairPlus project, the framework's origin. FairPlus Consortium is an international project with partners from academia and major pharmaceutical companies, funded by the Innovative Medicines Initiative, IMI, the largest private-public partnership program funding health research and innovation. The FairPlus project ran from January 2019 to December 2022 and produce a number of outputs, one of which is a template for verification framework. An important thing to note, the framework is not limited to life sciences. It is versatile enough to be applied in any context, which is one of its primary objectives. A bit more background on the FairPlus verification framework before giving more details on it. Feedback from the data management front lines indicates that there is a significant demand for hands-on practical advice on how to translate general and high-level FAIR principles into actionable, try-and-tested processes. The FAIR Plus verification framework was developed to address such demand. It aims to provide detailed technical guidance toward FAIR implementation and a systematic approach for putting the FAIR principles into practice. It was designed to supporting organizations and projects undertaking a FAIR transformation. 
It was developed in an iterative fashion by a multidisciplinary team of research scientists, data managers, and software engineers from both academia and the pharmaceutical industry, and has been tested on a range of IMI partner projects. The framework comprises three main components, as depicted in the graphical overview provided here, which includes Firstly, a canonical verification process, which outlines the main phases of a generalized verification activity. Secondly, a blank verification template, which breaks down key elements of the process into a series of steps to follow when undertaking a verification transformation. And thirdly, a complete verification work plan layout which provides a structure for organizing fair implementation work tailored to the needs of the specific project. In essence, there is a general process that can be applied in a domain agnostic manner. From this, we can create a blank template. After some pre-analysis, you will have a work plan to follow, enhancing fair levels of your work. In the next few item bytes in this series, I will present the verification procedure, explaining each component in detail and providing a practical illustration. Thanks for watching. Please see links used as well as links to additional resources alongside this video.